In this video, we're going to dive into programming the Korg wave state. We're going to look into the pitch lane, and then I'll just play around with it and see where it goes. First, we just press performance, turn the knob to init performance. So let's say you wanted to just use one multi-sample. Press the sample for the sample lane. It says loop end A2. That means step two here. So what I want to do is just turn the loop end knob to one. Now it's just going to be playing one multi-sample. If you wanted to, you could save it as a preset and then you can access it later. So I just press step one and we're in the sample lane. So when I change the multi-sample, we're just going to turn the knob. We're going to see a menu here. I just want to hold down shift and press the right button. I'll say category. We're just going to turn the knob. We're going to go down to woodwind. So we're going to experiment a little bit. We're going to choose flute trill hole. Now what I want to do is press amp and we're going to bring the attack up to about a second. Then we want to change release to about four seconds. What I want to do now is go into the timing lane and what I want to do is go to the second page. So hold down shift. Change the page here, and we have duration. Let's make it about 0.4 seconds. Now what I want to do is have the pitch lane here. I want to have four steps. Currently, we only have one and two, so I need to add two more. So we're going to shift the page over. We're going to choose action, add steps to end, and then we want to add two steps. Press enter, and then the steps are added. So now we have all four steps. We press pitch, and we'll see here loop end is a one, so we're going to change that to a4, so you just turn it all the way. Now for the first step, I want it to be just zero semitones. Next step, I want to make it plus five, so it's going to be a fifth from what we play. The third step, let's bring it all the way up to 19. That's actually an octave higher, it's the seventh note. And then step four, we're going to change that to plus 12, which is just an octave up. So when I play, it's going to flip through all of these steps. So next, I want to have more samples so I'm just going to add, so I'm going to go to step two, we're going to move to the menu here, I'm going to go down to synth, and then I want it to be analog strings one. But we have to extend this, so I just chose loop end A2, but we want to have, let's add a third, so we're going to go to the menu, add one step, press enter. So I want this one to be, actually, we're going to change the category, bell mallet, let's go all the way down, just going to choose vibraphone one. And now what we have to do is make sure that the loop end is at A3. Now what I want to do is add some reverb just to make it more atmospheric. So we just press reverb twice. We're going to go to preset, turn the knob. We're going to go all the way down to whale song. Now we're going to turn it up a little bit, turn up the size and the time. 